<laughs> That's hilarious, dude. <laughs> Oh crap, wait, I'm recording. Hey guys, Cody from Texper.com. I just wanted to do a short video about web browsers for your Mac. Now, there's many web browsers out there, but I'm just gonna do what I think are the top five. So, uh, let's keep this short. Let's go ahead and get started. Number five. The Rockmelt Social Browser. The Mac OS X full screen mode is fully integrated into Rockmelt, which is really cool. I love it. But Rockmelk's main selling point is its full integration of Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, all that stuff. As you can see on the right hand side, I can see all my online friends and send them a message no matter where I am on the internet. Which is pretty cool. Like check it out. I'm updating my Facebook status just by using the tools that the web browser is giving me. Also you can browse any site that has an RSS feed, but as I am not a huge social networking person, meaning I really only have a Facebook, I couldn't see myself taking advantage of these awesome features all the time. Number 4 Mozilla Firefox Now I know some of you may be very surprised that I didn't put this higher up because some people swear by this browser and they really love it, but let me explain. Now just to note, Firefox does not support full screen mode. But what it does support is many performance plugins, which many people use, but I don't. And that is why Firefox is just another normal browser for me. But it is a great browser. As you can see, when I play this video, it loads fairly fast, which I really enjoy because I watch a lot of videos. Come here, Get out. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. I love that part. Number three. Apple Safari. Now if my ranking of Firefox didn't make any of you guys mad, this probably did. And I know what you're thinking. Safari is the standard browser that comes on your Mac. How could you possibly place it this high on the list? And well, that's it. That's the answer. Since it's the standard browser that comes with your Mac, it works flawlessly with your operating system. Plus, in full screen mode, it just looks gorgeous. And as I'm jumping around on my website, you can tell it's actually pretty fast. And if we're willing to uh, go through all the crap it took to uh, be able to actually do this podcast. Number two, Opera Web Browser. Now Opera probably has the most impressive resume out of all the browsers that we've looked at. Claims to be the fastest out there, it works flawlessly with your Mac, and it was the first browser used on a mobile device, as you can see from this ancient photo. Its home page is actually a fully customizable speed dial system. It lets you put your favorite websites right there and rearrange them however you want so you can get going right when you open up Opera. It's got a sidebar for widgets, but I didn't fool around with it too much. If you're browsing the web on a slow connection, enable Opera Turbo. When enabled, Opera Turbo fully compresses the website before it even displays it. In theory, this grants much quicker results. And the number one web browser is... Google Chrome. Yeah, it's Google Chrome. Seriously though, there's no reason it shouldn't be. It's flawless. There's nothing wrong with it. It looks good. It's fast. It works flawlessly with your Mac. Uh, not much else to say. I mean, I don't know what keeps me coming back to Google Chrome. It's kind of got like a top site slash speed dial thing, kind of like Opera. The address bar doubles as a Google search bar for when you make stupid typos. It just works. It just freaking works. If you wanna go and take a ride with me so you, some of you guys are probably pretty angry right now but keep in mind that these are just my opinions you can have yours and i can have mine so yeah that's pretty much it not much else to say so uh if you're wondering why my background is a uh, war machine it's because mind your own business hey guys be sure to check out some of our other videos by clicking the links above as always thank you for watching Textbert videos